one of the most dramatic drives in the world. Just over two hours south of San Francisco, it's 17 mile drive. The red dotted line sweeps you through some dramatic coastal cliffs, some white line beaches and some spooky forests. There are 17 official stops on the drive and we're off to see a few for ourselves. It's advised you'll need about three hours to complete all 17 stops on the scenic drive. But if you haven't got time for that and you need to skip a couple, make sure it's not number 12, the lone cypress tree. Wrapped by wind and swaddled in fog, this tree is clinging to its granite pedestal. It's an icon on this Monterey Peninsula and it's one of, if not the most photographed tree in all of Western America. Ghost Trees at Pescadero Point is another unique spot on 17 Mile Drive. There's trees scattered around that are totally bleached from the sun and their figures resemble witches or ghosts, which is where the name is derived from. It's also a popular big wave spot with swells reaching more than 50 feet in perfect winter conditions. We've made it to our next stop. It's Spanish Bay Beach, where the sands are so pure they were used to restore a beach in Hawaii. It was five-time Open champion Tom Watson who said this place reminds him so much of Scotland that a tradition was born where every evening a piper plays for the enjoyment of visitors and guests. The currents in the water are extremely strong, so it's not advised to take a dip. However, there is a boardwalk that runs the full length of the beach so you can enjoy a good stroll and breathe in that sea air. As you continue on your journey, you'll find yourself passing eight golf courses, seven championship layouts that populate just about any golfer's bucket list, and the Peter Hay, which is the only par three on the Monterey Peninsula. So whether you've come here for world-class golf or to see all of the sights, 17 mile drive will definitely not disappoint.